Next. And we, yo, here we are. We're going to have a winner's match. PH James. PH James versus Panda TV Whaley. Whaley. Now, Panda TV, who from, are they? They are from China, mainland China. Oh, wow. Because Dark Jaywa is here. Right. And that's when I, I've, I've heard of their name a few times, but now we're seeing it at Churning the Butter. Is is this guy local or is he? Yeah, he actually moved here four months ago. Oh, from China. From China. Oh, very cool. Yeah, that is cool. So we're very welcome to have him here. Uh, he has told me there is maybe small interest from the other, his other uh, local Chinese scene that they might consider moving here to NorCal. Really? I mean, we knew that NorCal was going to be a mecca for SF5. Right. We knew that. I think it's amazing that people are deciding their living situation off of it. That's great. That is great. But here we go. James, as we were talking there, he takes the first round of the first game. Very canon matchup right here, Ryu yeah, and Ken. Very, very uh, a part of the great story of Street Fighter. We've been watching this matchup for a very long time. So and, far, though. Oh, wow, we're working on the stunt. And he, he kind of baited the shimmy, but didn't get the punish on it. Maybe he wasn't actually in the mindset for the shimmy. Maybe he was just backing up. Ooh, good auto correct. Punish by Whaley. James, but and the challenge right there does pay off. Doesn't get any Oki pressure. And it, it's very unfortunate for James that we're back to the mid range because that one knockdown he had was like the potential for the rest of the round. But but uh, how do you how do you pronounce his name? Whaley. Whaley. Whaley brought him back to the mid range. That's exactly what you need to do to stifle a comeback. Yeah, complete opposite of first two rounds there. James very dominant from either side. Yeah, very dominant from either side. James rushing him down and Whaley just surgically picking him apart, as we used to. Ryu, very strong in this game. Oh, oh good, good reactions awareness. right yeah. there. That is not a block string, as, as always. And it's not a block string from any distance in this game, is no, it? No, right. I don't think so. Because in 4, it was a block string really close. Really? I, didn't I know think. That. I, I could be incorrect on that one. I know. I knew it was not a block string because um, some characters can actually buffer in between uh, low forward fireball with their V-trigger, like Karen. Oh, she could wow, with V-triggers. And she could uh, uppercut if it's at a certain range. So it's really not a yeah, string, yeah, really <laughs> <not a> string. <laughs> if you've got room for that. Oh, good hit confirmed from Jame. Easy peasy finisher right there. Got a free jump out of the corner. Little interesting there. I, he, I, I'm pretty sure he just noticed that Whaley was really close to him, but not pressure close. Jim is a little bit, uh, he has a good balance between controlled and a little bit wild. He's not like Julio, where it's, you know, it's. I, th I think from, from, from a person who hasn't known Julio as long, from what I see, mm -hmm. I see that he's, he's very slow and defensive at the start, but once he gets that rip on you, it's just yes. kind of like it's done. What, what I see from Julio's play is that he has what he wants, and he doesn't, he's not that concerned about what the opponent wants. Mm -hmm. It's. This is what I want, and how am I going to get there? Which is not a wrong way to look at it, but it does gear your play in certain ways that you see visually. Uh, Jame, uh, we we're seeing, a, you know, we're just seeing periods of time where there's no buttons. Yeah. And you don't really see that with Julio. He goes, no, I want this, and I'm going to get this. He's not afraid. He's very fearless. It's force the issue play style. So far, that was off to get out of the front, uh, out of the corner, <laughs> trying to beat trigger, but it eats the overhead. This is an extremely evenly matched player matchup we have right now. Every round, someone does something sick, and someone's very dominant per round. <laughs> it seems like every round, uh, someone dies in the corner. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, that's Street Fighter for you. Oh, and the early hit confirm with the super. It's so satisfying to get the early hit confirm because then you're just building meter, especially when you have the round to get. Good decision, by, yeah. Good decision by Whaley to burn that super because he's just been whittling down James and it's paying off for him. Good challenge by James. He does have V-Trigger, so look for a big opportunity. Uh, yeah, that one hit confirm into the V-Trigger could really turn the tides here. Ooh. Oh, and he saw it. Great reaction. Always staying on top of the spatial relationship. Oh, you're going to change it? I'm going to react. And Whaley goes up 1-0 in this matchup. And, and we didn't even see excessive runs from, no. from Jame at all. Like, that's how ready Whaley was, where he was like, "This, I know that this is one of your good comeback options in this position, because in the mid-range, it hasn't been working out for you as much, as is Ken. It happens to Ken. 
but he was ready for it the first time. Oh, this is interesting. Wow. He is opting to go with uh, now, Karen. Now, I know I've seen him work on Karen. I have Karen, not seen it in tournament. I have not seen it. I've seen him play online <laughs> with it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And it's it's pretty good. It, it has all the necessities. He she, right. he plays her, you know how how you would expect. So, but I'm curious though, like why though? Is it gonna well, up to dash under? An Anthony was mentioning it earlier. He was talking about uh, he read an article by Daigo about this matchup specifically, and Anthony was talking about how Daigo said that Karen dominates the mid range right. in this matchup, and Ryu to get. To get all the good stuff from Ryu going, he has to be in. He has to be close. Because Karen from really far away can react with fireballs, and uh, in mid range, it, he she just outpokes Ryu. So it's I don't know if it's a bad matchup, but he's definitely deciding. Hey, Ken, not the best mid range. I'm gonna go to Karen. So far though, his game not plan working out. So his far. game plan is not. Yeah, it's not working out staying in the mid screen. Oh, and Whaley's no. being a little bit more uh, aggressive now. Well, he's he's understanding that the jump ins have just been Ow. working out. Yeah. I I see the reasoning behind the pick, but familiarity with your character is so paramount in these types of matchups. That was a perfect. That, it was a, wow. a devastating third game. There.